Chris Pratt joined DC Studios, James Gunn will probably see what cosmetic curve is to say, but let's check this out. Get ready for Chris Pratt in the DC Universe. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. And today we're going to dive into a quote from new co-president of DC Studios, James Gunn, and what he has to say about his friends and family from the Guardians of the Galaxy set, and how he already has a place for them lined up at his new job. We're going to talk about the implications of this and how that would mean Chris Pratt could be headed over to the DC Universe. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our daily uploads. You can also follow me on my other socials, Instagram at Chris M. Rosser and Twitter at The Culture Chris. Links to both of those can be found in the description down below. So, Chris Pratt is a very well-known and beloved actor across a ton of different franchises, well-known sitcoms, and even some solo projects. Most best known for his role as Star-Lord in the MCU's Guardians of the Galaxy, Chris Pratt has made his way from the chubby, goofy character in Parks and Rec all the way to, well, a Guardian of the Galaxy, while along the way taking on roles in Jurassic World and in some very awesome solo projects with Amazon and others, Chris Pratt has quickly become one of the world's most recognized faces when it comes to acting and stardom. With that being said, a lot of questions are currently looming around Chris Pratt and his fellow actors from Guardians of the Galaxy's future with the MCU. James Gunn has made it very clear that this is the finale. This is the swan song of his Guardians of the Galaxy. He will be completing his story. This is my swan song, watch me fly. I'm gonna find a place where I can be the beautiful duckling. I always was inside. And with that, we are actually expecting several deaths. Actors like Dave Bautista have already spoken up about how they're excited to be done with the role. So we know they'll more than likely, 98% surely, be exiting the MCU. Well, anybody involved with the Guardians of the Galaxy or James Gunn could be on the docket for finishing their awesome ride with the MCU, including Chris Pratt, Zoe Zaldana, and the rest of the Guardians crew, like Karen Gillan, who plays Nebula. Here's exactly what James Gunn had to say when he was asked about the future of these actors maybe joining him over at DC. Saying, This cast are like my family. I cannot tell you how close I am to Chris Pratt and Palm and Dave and Zoe and Karen, but I also know I will work again with all those people individually again. Probably at my other job. I know the majority of you already know this, but if you haven't been paying attention or following, his other job is as co-president of DC, which will now be labeled DC Studios, and is getting ready to have a massive reboot to the entire franchise, which we are waiting for a huge announcement from James Gunn himself within the next couple weeks. He promised us an update at the end of January. Well, we are at the end of January, so we're waiting what exactly is the DC Bible that he's been talking about so much. But the point of today's video is to talk a little bit about some of our favorite actors from the Guardians of the Galaxy, and now their potential role and very clearly open door of James Gunn, where they could roll on in and have a continued relationship with their family member, James Gunn. We can run through the list and get a little bit of an idea of exactly who that would be. For starters, let's talk about Dave Bautista, because that's a pretty easy one. He's made it pretty clear in recent interviews throughout the last several years that he's ready to move into something a little bit more dramatic. He just did Glass Onions, which is the sequel to Knives Out, and he was trying to have a little bit more of a drama-ridden role. He's also about to release in a new movie called Knock on the Cabin Door, which is a rated R thriller that will be talking about the end of the world, the apocalypse, and some cool sacrifice. He's looking to make new strides in his career, and very likely for this reason will not be trying to get in at DC, and this becomes desperate for a job, knowing that James Gunn will provide one. We can also talk about Zoe Saldana, who has been involved with Guardians of the Galaxy and Avatar for a very long time. These are two of the biggest, well, these are the two biggest franchises in cinema history, based off of box office scores and numbers. Zoe Saldana has been a star at Guardians of the Galaxy and one of the main lead characters in Avatar. And with Avatar having three movies still to come out and... Her role in the MCU still remaining a little bit unknown, she has spoken out about how she feels like she's in a little bit of a loop or a little bit of a creative block as an actress 
because she is playing these two very important roles and kind of stuck in that position. We'll have to wait to find out what happens with Guardians of the Galaxy and with Avatar as far as her character is concerned, but I don't know that as soon as she's done with either of those, she would be ready to jump back in at DC and continue on doing the same thing with a different character. Then we can talk about, well, Rocket, Bradley Cooper, who wasn't even named in this list, and James Gunn has spoken about this before, whereas he spent very little time with Bradley Cooper whatsoever. The majority of Bradley Cooper's work is remote, and after the fact, they go in and they voice the actor away from really James Gunn and all of the other family of the Guardians of the Galaxy, so we can kind of take him off the list as well. Although I'm sure if Bradley Cooper needed or wanted a job at DC, James Gunn would be more than willing to help him out there as well. Karen Gillan is a loved actress who has played several different roles, but is best known for Nebula, and probably a little bit more recently coming out in Jumanji as one of the playable characters. She's very fun to watch in that movie, especially since she's not covered in blue paint and so angry all the time. I would honestly say Karen Gillan could be one of the large candidates to make the jump over to DC once her job as Nebula is over. She's been playing Nebula for quite some time, and we have explored a lot of different versions of the character. She's had several character arcs, and come from being a horrible bad person to a bit of an anti-hero to now a guardian of the galaxy, and her story is probably pretty close to being completed, and I could even see a sacrifice coming from Nebula, maybe to save Gamora, to continue on Gamora's story, and bring Nebula's story to an end, which would leave her open to jump over to DC as well. Much like with Bradley Cooper, Vin Diesel, who is the voice of Groot, simply saying the statement over and over again, I am Groot, would probably have an open door, but was not listed in this quote because, well, he works differently with James Gunn, whereas he's not constantly there on set, he has his remote job, or he simply says his words, and we move on. But again, the door's probably open for Groot, Vin Diesel as well. And the massive ending, Chris Pratt, who is a massive candidate, who works extremely hard, has shown up in many franchises over the recent years, and is beloved by many. Definitely a character whose actor's name you want in front of it, great on a poster, everybody wants to see what Chris Pratt is up to. This would be a bit of a dream, maybe even for James Gunn, to get such a big actor over to play some character in his new DC universe. Personally, I love Chris Pratt too. I wouldn't mind seeing him jump over and maybe try a new role with a new attitude, maybe even leaving a little bit of that James Gunn sarcasm, that Star-Lord sarcasm behind, and taking on what could be a more serious role, or maybe even a villain. It would be something that would be really fun to see, and I hope there is an open door not only for Chris Pratt, but the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy family, and I hope some of them take him up on that offer, because the DCU is about to make some huge jumps. I want to see a very successful DC Universe, and I would love to see Zoe Zaldana, Dave Bautista, Star-Lord, Chris Pratt jump on over there and take full advantage of James Gunn, their Guardians of the Galaxy father, over on that side. That is a new job. But let me know what you think about this report in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if one of these characters were to jump over, who would you love to see them play? Thank you guys so much for watching to the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one right here on Cosmic Culture. Subscribe, like this video, have a great night, and see you guys bye.